Hello everyone. So I'm doing this recording outside because I am so grateful. I put the food in the bird feeder. Oh, I have a cardinal. Oh, yes. There was a blue jay this morning and a whole bunch of little teeny tiny birds. But a cardinal. I don't know if you remember, but the cardinal is something that my husband and I shared. So back when he was alive, I used to say, well, whenever you see a cardinal, just know that someone's praying for you up in heaven. And then I had a cardinal experience a few times after he died. And now I am looking at a cardinal, which I only saw one before. I cannot tell you how much I am so grateful for this wildlife around here. And I fed the, the deer and the deer are back. I mean, it's been two weeks, maybe even a little longer since they've had any food. So I cannot tell you how grateful I am that they're back. And one thing that I was thinking about this morning was how impatient and frustrated I was during this process. So if you think about it, the tail end of January 27th was when my husband died. Today is November 8th, and it's not that long. You're talking 10 months to truly have this place like 95% done. Do you remember when I used to complain about the contractors that would come and how things weren't fixed, how my pool wasn't right, how I was so tired of the dirt out there? I mean, I even did a video last night. You can go to my YouTube channel of the lighting around all of the landscaping, how grateful I am, how beautiful the yard is. I mean, wow, the pool is done. I've got to clean all the leaves off of the top of it. They're all wet. Two days, it's been cloudy and rainy. And I'm telling you, I love the clouds and the rain. I mean, it seems like for the last few months, every time I'm down here, there is no rain. And the sprinklers have to water the sod. So they haven't gone off in the last two days, which is awesome. This episode is brought to you by Imes Pet Food. When you choose Imes Dry Dog or Cat Food, you can see a difference in your pet with your own eyes. Healthy energy in five days, healthy digestion in 10 days, and healthy skin and coat in just 25 days. Satisfaction for you and them. Guaranteed or your money back. Feed Imes Dry Dog or Cat Food and see a visible difference. Visit imes.com slash difference to learn more. Ryan Reynolds here for, I guess, my 100th Mint commercial. No, 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 no. I mean, honestly, when I started this, I thought I'd only have to do like four of these. I mean, it's unlimited premium wireless for $15 a month. How are there still people paying two or three times that much? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be victim blaming here. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash save whenever you're ready. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes. See details. And I'm just so grateful. You know, I think when we look back on our lives, especially if it's something that we were frustrated with or it was a difficult season, and we can look now, have eyes to see back in the day, I know God was calling me to him. I know God was telling me, come to me. I will give you rest. I will make your burdens light. Like, be grateful for the fact that you have this beautiful place. And my whole demeanor changes when I'm here. It's very crowded where I live up in Chicago. I live in a suburb and you just, you know, drive out the suburb and there's car, 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 strip mall, strip mall. It's exactly like that. Probably worse in Georgia when I visited my brother-in-law. And then when I was down in Florida with my mom, it's just so crowded and populated with cars and people that I couldn't wait to get back here. When I drove to do some errands yesterday, there was like nobody out there. It's a beautiful country drive. I stopped at my guy's house who has the raw milk and the raw cream. And I was just like, how grateful am I for all of this? I mean, I'm so blessed. And my dog 
my little puppy is looking. Why am I not out there with you? Come here, hon. <laughs> because she was making so much noise. She wanted me to play ball. Come on, baby. Okay. Good girl. Anyway, I'm just so blessed. And I wanted to just come to you and share with you how grateful I am and how you too should be looking at your life, looking back to, I think that's the best when you just say, wow, I've come a long way, baby. And I was just talking to someone the other day, last night, as a matter of fact, talking about how we should look back and be grateful for all the little things like the food and the jobs and the money. Be grateful for our president that we are going to have relief, that he is looking out for America. There's so many things to say thank you, God, for. I'm helping him on his journey. And I think we could all have that little reminder. When I was speaking to him last night, yeah, I said, you know what? I got to rem remind myself of that too. Because when we do, everything takes on a whole new, what's the word? perspective, a whole new world, a whole new life, because you're so grateful. You're just, your spirit is lifted. You look at the little things like running water, running hot water. I mean, and I'm so blessed that I can have raw milk and raw cream. Y'all need to know that's not something that you can get anywhere in this world. I don't know. Is she eating? A bug? Are you eating a bug? Oh. <laughs> I know she loves it here. I cannot wait till I can let her go. Right now she's on a leash. I mean, I want to throw the ball to her. Maybe if I have her occupied, she'll come back. And then next week, everything's going to be dry. Guess what I'm going to do? I talked to the excavator guy. And he's finally going to come here and we're going to pave the path. And I cannot wait because how fun would that be to walk the path on my own property and not have to worry about any other dogs out there messing with my little puppy. Again, so grateful. It's about, what, 60-ish degrees it is perfect. I'm telling you, I was in Florida and it was 89, 85, something like that. And humid. And even when I went to Georgia, it was like 78 and humid. I mean, it's a little humid here right now because of the fact that it's cloudy and rainy. Last night was pretty misty and it rained too. Anyway, I'm just going to stop talking about all the things that I'm so grateful for and turn to you and say, do it. Go through everything, especially if you can go back in a season and look at your life, how you were like in a world of hurt. And now all of a sudden, all is good. It's just amazing. And see how you came closer to God. See how you were able to realize that life was teaching you something. God was teaching you something, not really life, because, you know, God is the one that draws us near, especially when life isn't perfect. All right, everyone, I love you all so much. Find something more with God, as always, soul, mind, and body. Wait, we have to pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for how you have provided for us with material things, with monetary things, and also with our spiritual life to help us get through the bad times and rejoice in the good times. Today we ask for you to put a heart of gratitude in our lives so that we can change our attitude, get out of that blah funk that we may be in, or to stop and truly give you the thanks that you deserve. Always and everywhere we should be giving you thanks. That's what we hear in the beautiful Mass. 
But do we do it? No. So Holy Spirit, come alive in us. Help us to thank you for everything. The roof above our head, the hot and cold water, the food, our refrigerator, our stoves, our water to wash our dishes with, the dishwasher, if we have it, we just turn to you and we thank you. Thank you, Lord. But most importantly, thank you for our faith. Because how could we get through the trials of our lives without you? We could never be joyful. Help us to take a moment and just breathe. Look around at the creation that you made so that we can appreciate it. Help us to hear the birds, to see the leaves falling, to breathe your beautiful air. In your holy name, Jesus, we pray. And now we are going to pray for all of the souls in purgatory by name and for those who have no one to pray for them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In your holy name, your healing name, your beautiful name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, now we're going to wrap up. Have a blessed and inspired day today. Don't forget, take some time to thank God because it really is him who does it all. We got nothing to do with it. We just got to cooperate with his grace. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Oh, it went away. Okay. <laughs> Bye.